Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to make a waitlist list on Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So to make a wait list or waiting list on Shopify, all we need to do is we need to access our admin page for Shopify. Now in here, we need to install an app. So let's go and click on settings at the bottom left. And from here, click on the option that says apps and sales channels. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to click on Shopify app store at the top right. And from here, what we need to do next is we just need to type in the following. It's going to be a waiting list. So in this case, just type it in here, press and enter, and you should be able to see different apps that you could use for this specific purpose. So again, there are going to be a lot of apps that you could choose from, but in this case, we'll be using some of the free apps here. In this case, let's go and click on notify me back in stock alert. Let's go and click on it since we have a, we have a free plan for it. Let's go click on the install button here. And from here to confirm this, just click on the install button that you see at the bottom right of the actual app. So this might take a while, so let's just wait for it to load it up. But once it's actually loaded up, you should be able to install it. Let's go and click on install here. And you should now be able to install it and use it in your store. Now, once you've installed the app, what we need to do is we now need to complete the whole installation process. We have the installation for the product page and collection page. Let's go and click on install widget. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to follow the on-screen steps. So usually they will actually set it up for you. So in this case, we just need to confirm it. So it will now actually enable the widget here. So let's just wait for it. And as you can see, it is now uh, installed here. So in this case, it will now have the notify me button here. So once it's added, what we need to do is we just need to click on the save button at the top right here. And from here, what is actually saved, let's go ahead and go back into the previous page. Click on install widget now on the collection page as well. Now, in this case, it, again, it might take a while, so let's just wait for it. And from here, it should say notify me button should, need, should be enabled. Let's go ahead and click on save at the top right here. And once it's done, let's go ahead and close this one and go back. And once this, everything is set up, you can go ahead and click on finish setup at the bottom page here. And you should now be able to customize your notification page. Uh, in this case, you could go ahead and change the text if you want to, the notify a me button as well, and all of those stuff. But in this case, if you want to keep the whole thing, you could go ahead and click on the subscriber form as well. If you want to change that, message after subscribing and notification message center. In this case, uh, once you've done that, we should now be good. So whenever your product actually runs out in your store and someone actually uh, visits your store, they should instead see the notify me button instead. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.